Welcome to a Third World Garage Electronics video. In this video we will be talking about the Bluetooth speakers Bluetooth module that is sold on eBay for you know around five dollars shipped to you from China via way of some other country to avoid Trump's tariffs and uh, takes about a month to get there but if you if you're building a Bluetooth speaker you've no doubt seen these things. They're cheap and they're okay but there's a bit of a problem with them. Now this here is a five volt module. I don't have this one hooked up yet. This is for another project. Now be careful you don't get this one that says music speakers at the top. Why? Notice that there is no Bluetooth emblem on the front of it. That's because it doesn't actually have Bluetooth in it. And so it's just basically an FM radio and an aux in jack. But they do work. Now my setup here, I have two very low end, well, medium end book bookshelf speakers made by RCA that I paid a whopping, if it'll focus, I'll focus on that one, $2.98 for at the Goodwill. Now it does come with a remote. And so this is actually a fairly cheap setup for what you're getting for it. Although the one that I'm going to demonstrate uses this remote. For some reason, they use different ones. And what you have on the back is you have the, these wires come for power connection. And then you'll notice that these plugs have three wires each. Now the center one is a ground and then you read the bat and you can see that on this one, this is the audio out jack. Right on this side, left on this side. And then this is an audio input jack. So you could run a separate, um, you know, 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack or something to the back of your project if you wanted to put one on there. But there is a problem, like I said. Now this one's running on 12 volts. And I actually have this hooked up to a power adapter, to a power brick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in. And you'll see the problem. Waiting to be connected. And if you listen, you can hear that awful Bluetooth connected. Awful high pitched scream that the thing makes all the time. And it does connect to Bluetooth very well, and actually, it will work across my house with my Nexus 6P phone that I'm using right now. But it that noise is very audible over the sound of the music or whatever you're listening to. Now, if you're curious how I've got my test setup set, right here I've got this plug, which allows me to run this small amplifier chip, which is, I believe, a, a PAM8610. And this, this runs into, this here runs, runs the um, input, or the output to the input of there. And then this is a power, right speaker, left speaker. And the, the box it's in is actually just a, a ham box container from uh, like Walmart or the local grocery store for cold cuts. So let's see here. But if we turn on the radio, we'll notice that it doesn't... Radio mode. And here's one of the other... On payday, but life doesn't work that way. When things come up, there's audio input mode. You can see on this mode, there is not really any noise. There's a little bit of background hiss, but that's unfortunately part of that PAM8610 amplifier board. And I don't think it's part of this board because it, it isn't quite as bad with some of the other amplifiers I've tried on it. Um, but, you know, that's, it, it's up to you if it's, if it's worth it to have the one that's going to make some noise in the background on the Bluetooth mode. However, I will say this. If you look at these, you can see they're all different. They have much different layouts on their bo circuit boards, different chips, 
they're all made by completely different makers who are using the exact same uh, exact same front end, but this part, the circuit board, is done a little differently. Oh, and by the way, for an antenna, this is all I'm running. This this one wire here, this black wire that's held in by this piece of tape, and it terminates right there. And it does really good for being such a small antenna. I get almost all of the radio stations in my area just using that. So can I recommend it? Yeah, with some reservations. I would say order them from more than one supplier. Order two or three of them. First off, if you blow one up like I have, like this one right here, where I, I blew up the, you can see right there, the integrated circuit has let the smoke out right there. That was from too much voltage. So if you're going to be running this with a little adjustable power supply, make sure you adjust that power supply to 5 volts or 12 volts, whichever you're using, before you hook anything to it. I actually managed to damage a lot of things. And I'm having to now wait for new parts to come from China or Uzbekistan or some other weird part of the world that, yes, I can find on a map, but I usually... But it just takes forever to get to the United States. But if you are looking for a cheap way to do this, and you're looking for a fun little front end to use on a Bluetooth speaker project, this might work for you. Anyways, I hope this helped you out. If you're looking for one of these and we're looking for an English language review that actually has spoken word, because I couldn't really find too many on YouTube. And have a good day.